So now that we have our engine project, let me give you an idea where we're headed here. We have this engine, and what is an engine, and what goes in an engine, that's I could definitely go up for debate, but basically the things that are reusable I want to put in the engine, and then I'm going to have other projects which are going to consume the engine. You know, maybe I write, uh, I don't know, game one, game two, and so forth. And Yeah, there's going to be specific things to these games, but then there's going to be stuff that we can reuse all over the place, and that's what I'm going to put in the engine project. All right, and also note that the games are the things that's going to have main, not necessarily the engine. The engine's just a library of functions that we can call and use. So what I'm going to do is make a scratch pad game. Okay, I'll call it scratch pad game and consume my engine. And basically this is a place, a sandbox I can play around in, test the things in my engine, and then as I want to uh, build other th other games and actually use the things in the engine, then I'll make separate projects for them. So I'm actually going to make a new project and go from there. File, new, project, again, Win32, console app, I have it in project files, let's call it, um, what did I say, I'm going to call it scratch pad game. Actually, maybe we should call it sandbox, how about that? Sandbox sandbox game. If you think of sandboxes, sandboxes are safe place to play generally if you're a kid unless you have cats and then that can all, always become interesting. I'm going to click OK. That is where I want it. I want it right there with my project files. Uh, get this wizard again. Again I'm going to uncheck this, click finish and it creates all these things for me. Drag this out. I'll just say void main for now. Don't have a hernia if you want me to type int main, char, star, argv, and all that stuff. Delete these. Be sure to delete them. Click, 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 delete. Fry the readme. Delete. Should be good. Let me build this. Build started. Build succeeded. Bring up the folder structure again. You can see we have sandbox game, and then debug's going to have a bunch of trash in there. So let's build this. Let's clean there. I'm going fast because I did all this in the previous video. Intermediate directory. Again, temp slash. Click OK. Uh, before I build, though, I want to commit this. As long as we're good. Delete these by hand from the debug folder in Sandbox Game. Uh, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, OK. So let's go here. Taurus SVN. Add. I don't want the IPCH or the open SDF, nor the SDF. Hopefully this is all familiar from the last video. Uh, click OK and that's added. Now actually notice the engine has a separate solution file from my sandbox game, uh, which is which is okay. I'm going to keep this engine solution file just in case I want to open the engine by itself. Uh, sandbox game also has a solution, but I'm going to add the engine project to this sandbox game as well. But before I do that, I'm going to commit so let's go here and say tortoise SVN commit and adding sand sandbox game uh, project. There we go. Click OK and it adds commits. We're good at revision four. Feeling feeling pretty good about that. All right. So now in sandbox game solution, I want to add existing project going to browse to where I have my projects. Again, here's the engine, here's sandbox game. I'm going to go into engine and select the project file for that. And you'll see that now we have the engine project inside the solution for the sandbox game. And this is merely for convenience. I want to be able to edit code over here and then test it over here and go back and forth between the two. So instead of going between two open versions of Visual Studio between the two solutions, I instead have both projects here. And I think let's just build this. See, see build started. Build succeeded. Good. Uh, right click here, gonna go to project dependencies and the sandbox game again it's gonna rely on the engine let me draw that out again here's the engine okay and the sandbox game is going to use code from the engine so obviously hopefully it makes sense that we want to build the engine before we try to build the game if we make some modifications down here and then try to use those modifications up here but then we build the game before we build the engine, the game's going to freak out and say, hey, uh, you're trying to do stuff that's not defined anyway. So let's let's build the engine first. So I want to say, uh, sandbox game depends on the engine, so please build the engine project first. 
Okay, now let's build. Build succeeded. And again, control F5. Just to make sure we get the black console window. Since Sandbox Game is the bolded project, that's our startup project, meaning it's going to start the Sandbox Game up by itself. I can also come in here and set startup projects. Okay. And this window comes up and I can say, start both the engine and the sandbox game. But like I said earlier, it doesn't make sense for the engine to have a main. We'll pull that out soon enough. Or we can have just the sandbox game. Okay. So let's do that now. I'm going to go to main. All right. And I don't even want this file in here. It's, it's, it's pointless to have the main in the engine. I was just building it and running it to make sure my engine project was good. So I'm actually going to go back here and do something that might be a little shady, but it works. Let's go to Project Files, Engine. Here's Engine's main CPP. I'm going to Tortoise SVN. I want to delete that off my hard drive and also out of my repository. I no longer want it to exist. Click over here. What Visual Studio doesn't know is this file is gone. All right, but I'll just click on Main here, hit Delete. It's asking me, do you want to delete the file or do you want to remove the file? Well. I already deleted the file before Visual Studio could get to it. So I'm going to click Remove. The reason why I didn't just delete in here and then click Delete is because then my repository, my Tortoise SVN, would still maintain a copy of this file up on the repo. And then when I do an update, the file would come back. So I'm just going to click Remove here and make the project happy. Build it. We get an error saying, hey, um, 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 where's main? Okay, that's what it's basically saying here. Engine EXE is trying to build the Engine EXE and it couldn't find main. Well, that's because I want Engine to no longer be an executable piece of code. I want it to be a library that I can consume. So I'm going to right click Engine, click on Properties, Configuration Properties General, and if we look here, Configuration Type, I don't want it to be an EXE anymore. I want to make a DLL, a Dynamic Link Library. And then I also have to change the target extension to dynamic link library. If DLL is kind of a word you've seen a lot of error messages to, or maybe you haven't heard of it before, don't worry. I'll get to uh, DLL and dynamic linking later. But you do need to understand linking and what C++ linking means. If you don't understand what C++ linking means, I have plenty of linking videos in the C++ playlist, so go check those out. Click OK. Just for fun, I'm going to clean the entire solution again. Uh, we have sandbox game main good build. Ah, oh, we still get what's the, what's the problem here? I've actually never seen this error before, but I think my hunch is it tried to compile no code, and I think it's complaining saying, "Uh, you want me to build a DLL out of nothing?" I'm gonna assume that's the case, so let's just play with this a little bit. Add new item CPP file. Uh, let's just call it temp cpp click add uh, let's try building this see what happens build succeeded there you go so we have an empty compilation unit and I know that seems a little interesting that I have a compilation unit that's empty versus I didn't have a compilation unit at all what's the difference it made the error go away but it just it just makes sense that it, it has to compile something even though that com that something turns into nothing so now the error is gone I'm happy, the compiler's happy, and we'll we will replace this temp CPP very quickly because we're going to add some real functionality and code to engine. And then, but we won't commit this temp CPP because it's, it's kind of useless. I don't want to put it up on my repository. Okay, so hopefully uh, we have the sandbox game in the engine. There are, are a few other things I need to do to tie these two together, but I want to drive home why we need to do that by actually trying to do something in my game that's interesting. And, and when we need to bring the engine in, then I'll show that in those videos.